Hello and welcome to SITREP, where each week we give you a rundown of the top headlines from Military Times. Up to 2,500 Marines are heading down under for six-month tours starting next year. And listen up, Airmen, you may be adding Australia to your list of possible assignments. Plans recently announced by President Obama and Australian Prime Minister Julia Gillard called for B-52 bombers, F-18 attack aircraft, C-17 transports and refueling tankers. All aircraft would be operated out of the Australian Air Force facility Tyndall. The AWOL soldier accused of plotting a bomb attack against Fort Hood has racked up six new charges. Private First Class Nasser Jason Abdo pleaded not guilty to all charges, including attempted use of a weapon of mass destruction. Meanwhile, a New York City man was arrested Sunday in a suspected pipe bomb plot to attack U.S. troops. Officials say the man was a lone wolf, and they released a video of an explosion equivalent to the plotted attack. An Afghan contractor is advising Leathernecks downrange to never face Mecca when urinating or spitting. While not a direct order, Marines are advised to be more culturally sensitive to Afghan troops and civilians who are Muslims. This latest sensitivity lesson comes months after Marines downrange were told to stop farting audibly while in front of Afghans. For sailors aboard the carrier George H.W. Bush, the issue has not been which direction to face when doing one's business, but whether one gets to do it at all. The ship's vacuum pressure waste system has proven prone to clogs, which has on occasion put the heads out of order for hours at a time. And it hasn't helped that sailors are flushing everything from clothing to mop heads. For these and other headlines, be sure to pick up your favorite edition of the Military Times newspapers. And for up-to-the-minute news breaks, check out MilitaryTimes.com. For SITREP, I'm Tony Lombardo.